Hey guys, it's Jerk the Gaming Dragon doing some Call of Duty 4 gameplay. This time we're doing some team deathmatch on the map Creek. Started out using an M14 with a red dot and woodland camo. The sidearm I'm using is a Desert Eagle. The perks I'm using are Bandolier, Stop and Power, and Steady Aim. Steady Aim helps a lot with the semi auto assault rifles, aka the G3 and the M14. Um, it helps in those panic situations where someone runs in from the side of your screen, you just gotta quickly get off a few shots. And uh, it, it's very effective in those situations. I'm not telling you to be a spammy asshole, but I am telling you it's it's pretty useful. Go ahead and give it a shot. Now that guy is a good example of why I don't run through the cave at the beginning of a match here. It's it's pretty suicidal. There's there's really no way to get through it. And then I kill this guy. I killed a I killed skinless Pegasus. It's a cool, cool gamer tag. Oh god, grenade. That's another reason why you don't want to really want to run through the cave. Usually there's about five grenades being thrown into the cave by both teams. Um, so that, that's how this, this plays out. And by the way, my teammate has perfect timing here. So I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm just waiting for this guy to walk through because I, we're having a standoff. And uh, my teammate walks up and immediately, oh shit, grenade! <laughs> I'm sitting here forever and the moment he steps foot into the cave, he gets a grenade thrown at him. And that's the same guy, a skinless Pegasus. Killed the same guy twice in a row at the very beginning of the match. But yeah, this, the way this map usually works out, I'm really not a fan of this map. Three kill streak. Hey, that's a good way to start a match. Even if I did, did just get shot in the back, whatever. Uh, I really am not a fan of this map. Uh, let me tell you how we started playing this map, first of all. So, originally, we were going to play broadcast. You know, and you had to vote to skip it, and there was 12 people in there, so you needed six votes to skip the map. At least half. And, uh, you know, six people decided, hey, we're gonna have bad taste and vote off one of the best maps in the game. And instead, we got this fucking shithole on the map. I hate this map a lot. The way this map pans out, usually both teams run over to the cave and do a whole shootout there, and then you got this one asshole sniper just sitting out on a hill somewhere waiting for you. And uh, usually I would like to be smart and go around the cave to try to flank the team, but nope, you gotta deal with that one asshole sniper, there's no way you're gonna get there. Uh, that's, that's, I hate this map. This, this is a map that was made for sniping. Infinity Ward, for some reason, has the biggest boner when it comes to being a cheap shot sniper. Just running around quickscoping people. That's just bullshit that they want to add into the game, and they think it should be an incorporated part of the game, and it really shouldn't be. And by the way, that guy took like four shots from my Desert Eagle, and he's still alive. But yeah, Infinity Ward loves sniping, as you can tell, and... You can see that a lot of the uh, the houses in the cave was just kind of an afterthought, forced in because you can't really have a map based around only sniping. So uh, they gotta make some other guns a little bit more friendly, and this is what they came up with, and I really hate it. Anyway, here I really wanted to, <laughs> that guy tried to jump to his death and commit suicide. How did that get an assist? What? Oh, whatever. That guy tried to commit suicide so I wouldn't get the kill. Um, yeah, I thought I had an ACOG unlocked with my M14. Apparently I didn't. I was under the impression I had everything I already unlocked in this game, but I, I don't use the M14 that much. Uh, I, I don't prefer to use the M14. It kicks way too much straight upward, and uh, I would much rather use a G3 or an M16. The M16 is way too easy to use, though, so I, I mainly like to use a G3. The way I have my classes set up is I'll have one SMG class, one or two SMG classes, one or two assault rifle classes that are about medium distance assault rifles, like say the M4 or the AK, and then I'll have a, uh, a long range assault rifle class, like say the uh, the M16, the M14, or the G3. Usually, I like to use the G3 a lot. It's very effective. Um, but yeah, I, I don't use the M14 that much. I just it kicks way too much. The G3 is a lot more effective and it's a lot easier to use. It has like no recoil whatsoever. And uh, I switched to an AK, as you can see, I'm already starting to do better now that I switched. Double kill! Aw, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, d I'm definitely doing a lot better that I switched over to an AK. Sometimes the M14 on this map just, just doesn't get it done. Uh, I was working at first, but then it just stopped working. And uh, now I'm going to start playing a little bit better now that I'm using an AK. Let's see here a little bit. I know they're going to walk through the cave. I see dots all over my radar here. And, uh, oh, there's somebody. Dead. Skinless Pegasus again. I, ki I swear, that guy... Most of my kills came from him as someone tries to take me out from the top bridge. Now I'm pinned down and I, I'm just stuck in the corner of this map. I don't know where to look or who to shoot. Be lucky if I stay alive here. And Oh, wait. Yeah. Skinless Pegasus once again. I don't know, that guy loved to run to the same part of the map. But yeah, five kill streak. Let's see if I can continue this as my teammate took the guy out above me, thankfully. And uh, I'm kind of sitting back here because people keep running to me. So why not, as I get another kill, just one kill for a helicopter. 
And uh, I'm being a little careful just sitting in the corner being a camping asshole because people keep running to me, so why not? And there we go. Killed Hobo Joe and I got a helicopter. So, that was a good turnaround after dying, I think, four times in a row. Now I'm using an AK. Man, that guy wouldn't die. <laughs> the AK is definitely, uh, to me, the best assault rifle to use in the game. It has the perfect combination between strength and rate of fire. And act the uh, it's incredibly accurate for some reason, and it has low recoil. I don't understand why the M4 has more recoil than the AK in this game, but it does, when that's not how the guns are, but who are we getting? This is Call of Duty, where are we talking about realism? Realism is an afterthought when it comes to Call of Duty. Actually, it's not even it's not even a thought. It's just there. That guy wouldn't die. Yeah, three kill streak again. Doing pretty good here. Starting to warm up now that I'm using my AK. Wow, that guy... I think that guy had it in his mind that he was going to knife me. I already got a five kill streak. I'm doing pretty damn well. <laughs> Let me put out a uh, put out an airstrike in a moment if no one tries to come in here and knife me. Oh shit! The window flipped by the window. Five, what? How did I just get another five kill streak? What is this? Oh, I threw it out there. Maybe I'll be able to get another helicopter here. I tend to be a little bit more careful because that's why I tend to be more careful because the uh, kill streaks count towards your next kill streak. So I wait to see if I'll get one or two kills with a uh, an airstrike before I go out and shoot someone. And hey, I got another helicopter. Now you see me continue to be careful because if you die and get another kill streak, your helicopter will just disappear. You'll get a UAV, and wow, that's really useful compared to a helicopter. And my teammate just saved my ass. Um. Yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely doing a lot better than it was before, and how did that guy not kill me? <laughs> Skinless Pegasus. He must have a bad connection or something, because that should have been a pretty easy kill, and I'm doing pretty damn good right now. I don't know what kind of a kill streak I'm on, but throw out my helicopter again, and now, oh, I'm dead. But good time to die, I just throw out my other helicopter, so if I get a kill streak, it won't erase anything. Oh, that, did, that grenade didn't get anyone. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, uh, come on now. <laughs> I didn't even get hit markers there. I don't know how that worked. I decided to change the M4 a little bit. I wanted to use different guns. The AK was working well. The fucking same guy killed me. The AK was working well, but, you know, I like to change it up. Use some different guns. I don't like to use the same gun over and over and over again. My helicopter's just sitting up there. I figured this would be a safe way to go because my helicopter's just kind of flying right above and no one wants to step out when there's a helicopter right above you. No shit. You know, as annoying as that spam is at the top left, the infections, this guy won't die. Uh, but as annoying as those infections are, at least, oh god, man, come on, there's three people there I could have killed. But uh, at least the infections, and those are the mods you see popping up on the top left, at least they don't cover the minimap. That would make the game pretty much unplayable if they did. Yeah, random grenade throw, and I got someone. Take that. Whoa. Not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go around. You know, there's actually a, a pretty big amount of space back here, uh, but it's rarely ever used. It's just one of those maps. You know, just a part of the map that just isn't isn't used, and that's what poor developing usually results in that. Like, a good example is uh, the map block. There is a... Uh, I'm gonna kill some here. I knew there was someone following me. I heard him running behind me. I started shooting him, and damn it, someone totally ruined my kill. But yeah, the the map block. That map has a uh, a section of the the in the back that's just an empty pool. No one ever steps foot in that building. It's just kind of there, and uh, I don't know. It's really weird. <laughs> it, how many people noticed that? Like, I completely forgot about it. I came across it again today. I was like, oh yeah, this is over here. Holy shit. I could have, I don't know, I, I wish people would fight in there, it's a cool area, but no one ever fights in there. Hey, victory! We won! Did pretty good that match. I went 29 and, 29 and 13 with two assists. If only I got one more kill, I could have got 30 kills exactly. I wasn't hosting, by the way. Uh, it wasn't me that was hosting. But yeah, there's some more Call of Duty 4 gameplay, and I'll see all you guys next video.